hello guys in this video I'm going to teach you how to draw a circuit basically how to draw a clipper circuit from a given transfer function as you can see here I've been given a transfer function which can be mathematically written as this the y-axis is representing the V out and the x-axis is V in the input voltage and the output voltage now you can see that the transfer function is written mathematically as V out equals 1 when input is greater than 1 which is shown with this uh, line as it is constant 1 as I can see that this is a constant 1 when input is greater than 1 and similarly we can see that V in is V out is equal to V in that the output voltage is equal to the input voltage that is the slope of 1 that is given in between the intervals minus 1 to 1 and similarly uh, output voltage is minus 1 when V in that is input voltage is less than minus 1 then you can see it from this line so this is a basic a very simple uh, transfer function and now I'm going to draw uh, now I'm going to draw the output voltage the V out and with respect to time on this graph now as you can see what I've done is basically I have just drawn a sinusoid on the graph let me just tell you that I am going to draw the output waveform for that purpose I have assumed that this is my input waveform for input waveform I'm using this blue pen this is input waveform and that is a function of T so this is my basic input sinusoid now what I am going to do is I am going to write the output using this um, transfer function. If you can see here that the only point which is important is this straight line. This straight line with slope 1. Otherwise both less than minus 1 and greater than 1 the output voltage is a constant 1 and a minus 1 so we can represent the constant 1 and minus 1 with a straight line but this is what is telling us that for whatever the input is the output is same as you can see if the slope of a f line is 1 then what we have and it is passing from the origin then the uh, equation of the line as I can tell you here is uh, y equals mx plus c but if you have this m equals 1 and c equals 0 as there is no y uh, x intercept uh, sorry y intercept so what it is going to be that y equals x as m equals 1 and c equals 0 so this is telling us that whatever the input is the output is exactly the same so in between 1 and minus 1 the output which I'm going to draw with this marker is going to be the same or let me just write it on the dotted line with which I have represented my input so I'm just assuming that for these intervals my out output is going to be same as input this is my output pin and this is my input pin don't confuse it so basically what I am going to do now is that I'm going to write here that this is my positive one point and this is my negative one point right 
so this is positive and this is minus negative so as my v in approaches 1 all it gives you is a straight line 1 for this as it approaches 1 as my input approaches 1 it gives you a straight line similarly as my input approaches minus 1 the output gives a straight minus 1 which I am going to represent here with a straight line so this is how I am going to uh, I'm how, this is how I am drawing my output waveform and using this output waveform now I can draw the circuit for this problem I have just made my problem easier by just drawing the output waveform by making a sinusoid my input so now what I am going to do is going to draw a clipper and clamp clipper circuit for a clipper circuit you know the basics that all you need is I hope it's visible a resist resistor and let's suppose that there is a sinusoidal voltage or the AC source then how am I going to draw this basically it is two diodes connected in parallel that are connected in series to their batteries DC batteries and the DC batteries are going to be the positive one voltage and the negative one voltage so for that purpose I am going to draw two diodes oppositely connected And along with this it's a one volt battery similarly for this I have oops drawn the wrong and this part will give me a negative volt battery So all I'm going to do is now connect my circuit Let me just label it here if this is my D1 this is my D2 this is my R, this is my V in, and this is my V out. And uh, let me just show you this is one volt, and this is one volt as well. Connected in opposite, which is going to. And let me just make my mistake be vanished somehow. So, this is the final circuit that I have. And let me explain it. This is basically reverse bias and this is also reverse bias. All right. So when a V in comes and both of them are reverse bias, no diode passes the current. So it goes straight and we just get as output whatever we give as input so that's clear cut as both of them are connected with in reverse bias position where no diode um, passes current and acts like a insulator but as this V in approaches 1 this side of the battery is positive for the positive half cycle it is connected in forward bias and then it gets short and this one volt battery is the voltage which we get as an output 
so this one volt battery gives this straight line then as we come down on our sinusoid the half portion of the positive half cycle the second half portion of the positive half cycle it goes down and it again reaches one where again it comes to reverse bias then what happens is as you go down on the negative side same this is reverse bias until this point and then it is positive side because then it is going to be the negative side because a negative cycle will give this position a negative sign and this is going to be the positive sign so this is negative part this is positive part and this is going to be uh, forward bias and then this minus one volt battery will act will be our output so this is how it goes so I hope you got the point of how to draw a parallel connected clipper circuit thank you so much